This video describes how to use the Dancing Factors activity available on the Dynamic Number website. Here we see the numbers from 1 through 36, and here we have the number 8. The number 8 would like to dance, but not everybody wants to dance with it. Which numbers will agree to dance with 8? Well, those numbers that are factors of 8. So let's press the Dance button and see who comes out to dance. Well, as expected, we have the numbers 1, 2, 4, and 8 are doing a circle dance around 8. If we drag 8 somewhere else on the screen, the numbers follow it and continue to dance. Now let's try changing the value of 8. I'll come up here to the parameter number and I'll change it from 8 to, for instance, 12. Let's see what happens. So the 8 that sits outside the green circle has stopped dancing because it's not a factor of 12. And we also see some new numbers have entered into the dance, specifically 3, 6, and 12, because those are also factors of 12. And I'll move 12 over here so that we can see just those numbers. And using this dance motif, we can ask a variety of questions. For example, which number has the most dance partners? Which numbers have the fewest dance partners? Is there any number that dances with everybody? Uh, which numbers have an even number of dance partners? Which have an odd number of dance partners? So this model of dancing factors gives a very appealing way to think about factoring and allows you to explore every factor of numbers from 1 through 36 just by changing the value here. When you're done, you can press Reset, and that moves all the numbers back to the left-hand corner, and you can type a new number and see who dances with it.